I will continue to ask these questions because right now you're running for mayor and there are people of color in your town who have heard your racist slurs. WSMV4 Investigates is there as a city alderman exposed for saying racist slurs is told by a judge to immediately step down from office. Well, the judge's ruling comes after we exposed body camera video of Alderman Thomas Dillard's racist comments. As our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley reports tonight, the alderman's removal from the council is all about his plan to be mayor. Once again, Thomas Dillard is walking away from WSMV4 Investigates. I will continue to ask these questions because right now you're running for mayor and there are people of color in your town who have heard your racist slurs. Is there anything, sir, you would like to say on his behalf? He's not going to say anything else. Not saying anything about a judge's ruling that Dillard must now step down from the Portland City Council. He's the same alderman who we exposed saying this. I called him the N-word, I ain't gonna lie. And was later documented by police for calling the biracial family next door effing porch monkeys. Even though the city's charter had no provision to remove Dillard based on his racist comments, following our investigations, the city attorney filed this, a complaint, saying the city's charter reads, you can't run for mayor and remain on the council. Remember what Dillard told us last month. Do you think you should stay on the council? Yes, I'm going to stay on the council. Despite you making for, racist, and racist I'm running, comments. I'm running for mayor. Which leads us to this morning and the city's fight to force him to leave the council. The whole point was the, issue, the charter says the issue going to run for mayor, you need to resign. Mr. Dillard just says he will not resign. As a matter of fact, he told me I should resign. But Dillard's attorney argues he's a write-in candidate, not a traditional candidate, so the charter doesn't apply to him. That's basically what all this boils down to. It's, it's, fairly, it's fairly simple. Dillard had no reaction as the judge ordered him to step down immediately and says he'll only speak to a journalist from another Nashville station. Mr. Dillard, I want to ask you, do you really think that someone should run for mayor who said racist slurs? Um, have you talked to Nick Barris? I've asked you to contact Nick Barris. If Nick Barris wants to talk to me and sit down and go over this, but I'm not speaking to you, and I've already, we've already determined that. I think that Nick would ask you the same question. Okay. If someone who said racist views, would, do you think you should accept, run for mayor? I would accept the question from Nick. It will now be up to voters in Portland if they intend to write in Dillard as their next mayor. Jeremy Finley, WSMV4 Investigates.